This is literally like the dream location for holiday. Oh, I either like somewhere or I don't. I preferred it out on the streets. I'm always honest with you guys. No matter what people say. Lake Como. Come on, chop chop. Seriously, you're pissing me off today. Good morning from Lake Como. We're going on a bit of an adventure today. We're going to get a ferry across the lake, see what we can find over there. Apparently, there's a load of cool stuff over there. First, though, we're going to get some breakfast, fill up, freshen up, get ready, and we're out of here. Let's go. Ready? See. It's a bit windy today, isn't it? Very windy. Hopefully, it's just because we're up on the mountain. I don't really like the wind. Probably the worst type of weather. You got a khaki? Oh, by the way, this is the old beast we got. This is who we booked through. Service was not good, but they're the cheapest ones there. Sometimes you just gotta put up with it as a budget traveller. Uh, right. Off to El Centro de Bellagio. So Natalia, now you see the water, how are you feeling about getting on a boat? I don't want to. You don't want to? I get severe seasickness. I suffer. <laughs> severe seasickness? Severe seasickness and I suffer. <laughs> it looks bad. It look, it's not the sea. It shouldn't actually be that bad. Yeah, but it is. There's waves. I reckon it'll be sweet. Yeah, you will be. I won't be. Look at that building. That big building is bad. Oh, no, it's wet here. That's not tonight. Wow. Fancy. Oh, get that bad. Yeah. Don't know. Probably couldn't keep up with the payments or something. It's gonna be probably be a hotel or something. Probably worth sh loads of money. It's right on the lake. Bellagio, very nice place. Lots of little, lots of little boutiquey sort of stores. A lot of restaurants and cafes. Good for shopping. Good for, yeah, strolling about. There's lots of little back alleys like this. That is cool. I reckon I could get away with that whole outfit, but I think that's probably a woman's outfit looking at the trousers. So it's probably a woman's outfit. Yeah. I, I would wear that. I would wear that jacket. I think that's a sick jacket. Maybe it men's. The jacket is 1,150 euros. Well, I definitely have to find a cheap one. <laughs> oh, mate, look at the queue. We've got, I don't know how long we're waiting this queue. Then we're going to get a day ticket on a ferry. And then we'll just be able to jump on and off ferries as willy nilly as we want, go wherever the wind takes us. We're just going to jump on the first ferry that comes. We're just going to jump on the first ferry that comes. <laughs> we need to get a ticket first, which is long. So you can get the car. You, if you've got a car, you can actually just park up here and jump in and get a ticket. They're, they're, they're car ferries. Apparently, they're, they're probably the best one to get. That's what the lady in the coffee shop told us. So we'll give that a little go. That's the bad boy. The queue is going down quite fast. Yeah. It would take about an hour to drive around the lake from Bellagio to Verona. Yeah, Verona? Verona. So it takes about an hour. So 25 minutes on a ferry, 20 minutes in this queue, and the 10 minute walk down here. You get a nice view. You get a nice view from the boat. Our plans have been foiled. Our, plan, our plans have been foiled by the wind. This has only got one destination today. We have to go to Verano or somewhere else. I just said the first one she said, Verano. Verano. So we're going there, which I think was our original plan anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. We've got to go there. So they're not doing any day tickets today because there's only one destination you can go to. And she said the next boat, the next boat is at 12.30. It's now 11.45, so we've got a 45 minute wait. So what we should have done, we got the ticket earlier and then gone to there. But we might as well go over there and wait, innit? No point standing here like lemons. We'll go. Lemons. Okay. Let's go get an espresso martini. Really? Another coffee? 
Afro spritz. You can have an Afro spritz. I'm going to have a water. Dan's on his health kick. He's not eating ice cream. Not I, I did eat ice cream. You had one mouthful of my ice cream. Yeah, it's not a health kick though as such. What is it then? It's just a lifestyle. All right, we're off. We're getting, we're getting a, a nuts get. Are you actually getting an Afro spritz? Might liven you up a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna get that an Afro spritz. Yeah, then you say I'm too We need to release the beast. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna have? I don't know. Right, we're gonna sit, we're gonna chill down 45 minutes, then we're gonna get on the boat. Oh. Surely we can get on that boat. Oh, there, that's some raw dog in action going on over there, boys. Ah, that's it. Grazie Emilia. Oh. Right, just FYI for anybody looking to come here, Bellagio is a little bit more expensive than Como. I don't know about anywhere else yet. We ain't been there, but cocktails here are about 13 euros. At, uh, in Como, it's about 750. Hello. I'll just get uh, uh, Americano, please. Another coffee. Yeah. I've got some chips and I've got some lovely olives. Italian olives. Glorious. There's mine. We're on. Finally. I thought I'd there. It's 20 minutes late. We've just been waiting around, wasting a whole hour waiting for this thing. It's pretty fast. It's not too rocky either if you can get sea sickness or uh, boat sickness, travel sickness. It actually is better to see from the boat. Look at this. Right guys, crikey, we arrived at Marina in Italy on Lake Como. Wow. Now that would be sick. This would be a great place to cruise around on a motorbike. I mean, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Cruise around on a bike. Yeah. Yeah, motorbike, not a pushbike. Fuck that. Too many hills. It's warmer over here. It is. Isn't it? Spaghetti allo scoglio. Okay. Um, the calabrese pizza. Calabrese. Oh. And uh, a Rui Bush vaniglia. Yeah. Please. And for me, um, the rosy vaniglia. Okay. And one rosa. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it, Emilia. I'm back on the seafood again. That that mussel soup thing I had yesterday was well nice. So I'm trying a uh, I'm trying another seafood dish today. Uh, it's our pasta seafoods with mussels, shrimp, and other stuff from the sea. Can't remember what else. There was like six different things in there. Squid. Was it? Yeah. All sorts. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Uh, and I ordered a nice um, vanilla. Nice vanilla tea. A vanilla tea. Rui Bush Vaniglia, it's called. It's a nice setting. The wind is just getting on my tits, in all honesty. It's too much. It's just constant. What do you think about the wind, Natalia? Yeah. It's a little bit annoying, but imagine like if you had hair like all it going in your face, you're just chilling, just chill. Look at the view, right? We've got the best table. The geezer said that this is the best table. Everyone pro proposes to everyone on this table, apparently, but... No chance of that happening here. We're not going to do that. Yeah. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Alright. Didn't even wait for everyone at home, did you? Yeah, you were in a toilet, queuing for the toilet for like 40 minutes. That food was not worth the wait. But this yeah, yeah, yeah. No, four, euro, four euro tea bag I bought is actually very nice. That's really tasty. It's probably actually worth four euros. That's quite nice. 
pay four euros for a tea bag, but it's a herbal tea bag. It's like a vanilla, vanilla tea. It's well nice. Very, very nice. But the food was a bit. I don't think seafood should be in pasta. That didn't, well, didn't feel right at all. Only nice sauce with seafood. It was a bit boring. There was a little sparrow eating the old uh, bread rolls though. The bread rolls are dead as well. Rock hard, man. I think the wind is just starting to irritate me. That's what it is. Should have really found somewhere indoors. I feel better now I've eaten though, even though I did enjoy the food, but it does the same job. It always just works the same way. What was your opinion on that food then, my love? Dead. Dead? Yeah, I don't think that was very nice. Not a lot of love went into that. They're just pumping it out, you know? Yeah. Very busy, nice location. She was way more brutal than me. Let's go and see the villa, shall we? Yeah, Villa Monestaro. There's a lot of nice eateries around here. We, we've picked the, we picked the deadest one. Yeah. That was not, that was, here we go. This is where we're going. Villa Monastero. Look at it, it's quite nice around here. I feel a lot better now I've eaten. I was, I was flagging hard. Natalia, do you reckon we can uh, find out for everybody how old this place is? Because it looks, Old. Of course, just looks very old. CC, two sex. This place looks old because it is old. It was founded by a fisherman back in AD 769. That's a long time ago. Where is this? Where is this villa? I'm going to guess it's this way. That as well. <laughs> so, what do you think of um, Villa Monastero? Inside. Boring. Boring? Yeah. Not extravagant, not extravagant enough. But I think the botanical gardens are worth seeing. So, we, what? Have we seen them yet? Walking through them. No. Not really. Oh, okay. We haven't gone in there yet. I never really find these things that interesting. There's a lot of this. There's a lot of people just posing for photos in here, which is yeah, fair enough. It's very picturesque. It's picturesque. Apparently, I, I, I'm not feeling this place at all. Daniel, what Lake Como? No, Lake. No, I like Lake Como. This this villa. Daniel doesn't like things that normal people like. Daniel only likes things when he is on the verge of death. No. Or something is unique or once, like, yeah, once in a lifetime different. You can't just like walk around a nice village and just chill. I can. Grab an ice cream, grab a coffee. Just... This is literally like a yeah. dream location for holiday. Lake Como. Mwah. Yeah, I like it when we're out doing stuff. But this in here is a bit boring. I'm not enjoying it. Right, okay. Villa Monastero. What do you think? You think it's nice, don't you? Yeah, I do. I think it's very beautiful. Very picturesque, very tranquil. It's not tranquil because the wind is blasting me. The wind is not anywhere near as bad in here as it is out there. I don't know. I preferred it out on the streets. Oh, this Villa Monastero is a bit, a bit dead. I remember shit sandwich. Yeah. All right, the shit sandwich for this place would be the baguette. The gardens are really nice, but it's pretty boring. What, what can be my other slice of bread? It's just extra boring. <laughs> that's called a shit sandwich. That's Natalia's. Uh, that's my new. That's my new approach to being negative about somewhere I go. Instead of me just going no, full. You failed. You've done it once and you've already failed. That's, <laughs> not, a shit, that's not a shit sandwich. A, a positive. A, a good example of a shit sandwich would be. The gardens are really beautiful. The inside was a little bit boring, but it felt really tranquil and peaceful whilst we were there. All oh, right, yeah. That is, that is a that's, good example. Of that's the shit sandwich, sandwich where you say something good, positive, mm -hmm. then negative, and then you end on positive. Oh, yeah. So it leaves people feeling positive, but. Yeah, not positive, negative, negative. That is not 
No, that uh, that was not a shit sandwich, was it? I just no. double did a double filling. Yeah. <laughs> I either like somewhere or I don't. I can't I can't fake it. I'm always honest with you guys, no matter what people say. I, I think that's what it is. Alright, alright, let's go find tiramisu because I prefer to do that. Alright, we obviously had the deadest lunch ever. So we decided to come to the top rated restaurant in Bellagio and Pichi Sapore. This is going to be a feast. Bolognese, bruschetta, limoncello, uh, fritz. Drink alcohol, mate. Huh? Drink yeah. alcohol. Oh, well, well, there we go. Drinking alcohol, people. And for dessert, tiramisu. Apparently, the best tiramisu in the area, so I'll give that bolognese a 5 out of 10. Uh, what would you rate yours out of 10? 6.5. 6.5. Not quite a 7. So 6.5 out of 10. You could, uh, your bolognese at home is 10 out of 10. That's bolognese at home is 10 out of 10. It's very, very good. I probably shouldn't have ordered it here because they're not going to match it because they don't put as much love into it, you know. But, yeah, 5 out of 10 for this, I reckon. Unfortunately, hopefully the tiramisu is worth it. That's what I want. Please make up for the bolognese. Very creamy. <laughs> 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 Don't breathe in. <laughs> Don't breathe in with the chocolate sauce. <laughs> chocolate dust. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate. Breathed in and the chocolate dust went straight down my pipe. That's well nice. It was all worth it. It was all worth it, thank God for that. What would you rate the tiramisu then? 8.5. 8.5. You love the 0.5s tonight, don't you? I'll give that a good rating as well, that's well nice. What's a good rating? Just FYI, the carbonara did look really nice, other people had that. What's my rating? 9 out of 10. It's the best thing I've eaten all day. Good night. Good night. Much love. This is what it was like in Villa Monastero. Can you just take a picture of me here, please? Can you just take another picture of me here, please? And then uh, can you take a picture of me here, please? Hey, stand there, stand there. Everyone wait. Take a picture of me here. So this guy wants to take a photo of me now. He wants me to be his model. <laughs>